Hello everyone and welcome back to Hardcore Skirmish Guardian Hunter. Since the last episode, I actually done some stuff this time. Uh, looking at my notes, I uh, smelted down the ores I got last episode. I made some new chests to sort stuff. I made a roof for the base or finished the roof from what I had before just because why not. And uh, just to mention this chest is blocks, this is ores, this is various, and this is tools. And in addition to that, I went out here, I cut down some trees, got some more wood, and planted some new trees, which apparently are growing pretty nicely. And, uh, yeah, on top of that, I went around and I mined a lot of the coal for levels. As you see, I have a fair bit more levels and a lot more coal. And I also went down the mines and strip mined to get one more diamond. Or I found a diamond deposit, but I only mined one because I'll need three for a pickaxe and two for the enchantment table. Then hopefully I can get to level 30, enchant a pick, and get fortune. And then with a fortune pick, I can go back, mine the diamonds, and hopefully be able to make armor and weapons and such. So, uh, yeah, and I also have some uh, iron I left smelting here because um, I, when I was strip mining, I got, um, well, a decent bit more iron, a bit over 30, 35, I think. So, yeah, I had that smelting when I, I was wrapping up my off-camera stuff. So, yeah, but in today's episode, I want to first start by making the rest of my iron armor because, uh, yeah, that will be helpful, or at least greatly reduce my chance of dying. So if I go like this, I'll have the rest of the armor. And I also want to make, uh, I almost forgot how to make them for a second, some buckets. Just because buckets are good to have, and if I come out here, I can come down here and get some water. And, uh, yeah, that is a squid, right? Okay. This is Guardian Hunter, and it would be hilarious if there was a temple, like, right nearby. But I probably will have to go out and explore a lot for that. But, uh, yeah. So, I think I'm going to get two of water. And I did not think that through when I came down here that I need a way back up. Hmm. And, uh, oh, speaking of stuff I want to do, uh, I think I could just do it now. But I want to go over there and get sugar cane. Uh, probably bring some back here as well. Though I don't need much. And, oh, coal. So, uh bit more levels from this. Uh, actually, how about I just uh, mine this and I'll cut to when I get, I'm getting the sugar cane so you don't have to watch me mine coal. Okay, so that took a tad longer than expected because uh, after I mined that one coal deposit, I found a few more up there that I went and mined. So uh, yeah, but now I have the sugar cane, which should be enough, but I noticed there's a witch's house over there and I think a desert and uh, I think I have enough time to head over there and I could probably just cut to coming back to the base unless anything interesting happens. So I think we're going to go over there and just see. And I also can grab more sugar cane so I don't really have to plant and regrow it. And uh, I could kill the pigs or at least I thought I saw pigs. Maybe they're just mushrooms. Nope, there's pigs. So uh, yeah, I could kill them but I don't see much of a point because I already have way more food than I'll probably need. And yeah, that's a lot of sugarcane. But uh, to mention, I need... Oh, I just realized I was not thinking this through as well as I thought. I was thinking, okay, I just got sugarcane and we can enchant. Yeah. Uh, I forgot that I needed bookshelves. So maybe I will need to plant some of this. So I'll get as much as I can. And uh, doesn't seem to be a witch in there. I actually never explored many witches' houses in vanilla. Or I'm not sure if I explored any in vanilla. And... Uh, do I have a couple of... Nope. I guess I can grab the cauldron, although it doesn't do much good because uh, it doesn't really do much in vanilla at the moment. So, uh, yeah, and I don't really want to mine stuff underwater. So let me head up here to see if there are any cows there. And then I'll probably head back because I know, yeah, it's starting to get too night. Because I'll need a lot of leather. Uh, let's see, I need like uh, 15 bookshelves or somewhere around there. 14 bookshelves times 3 because each bookshelf needs 3 books, which is 3 leathers and a lot of sugarcane. So, um, hmm. Not really seeing any cows, which is bad. I know I have a couple leathers, so I'm not sure how easy I can get fortune like I was planning. I might need to try and explore a bit off camera for that. So, uh, I always could take the bed with me, too. I forgot I can do that, because this is hardcore. If I die, I don't respawn, so it doesn't really matter if I change my spawn location if I die during the night. And sorry if you hear any noise outside. There's stuff happening plain, I think. It doesn't happen too often, or it's kind of weird, because you wouldn't even expect it to happen where I live, but it does, so... Hmm. But, yeah, I really want to head back now, though, because I do not feel comfortable about being out when it's turning night and pretty far from my base and darn. I was hoping to 
cut across but didn't realize there was water there so yeah i'm just gonna cut back to the base unless anything interesting happens like mobs all over or something so uh see when that happens okay so i made it back over here just as night was uh falling or the sun was setting and wow i left the door open that could have been bad so uh yeah i didn't run into any mobs thankfully and i actually got a lot of sugar cane on the way back i ran into some chickens which i killed because i realized uh feathers are good because we can use feathers with flint to make arrows so off camera i can even uh, convert some of that gravel or that gravel into flint i moved it from where i originally had it and we have a bunch of sugar cane i think i will uh plant some of it and uh i'm just trying to throw this stuff in because i don't have a spot for everything i think i'll just leave it there for the moment though because i really don't want to deal with it and uh yeah but now that we have uh that i need to actually make a diamond pickaxe and i need to get more sticks uh let's just convert this all over and i guess that should be enough i don't really need to have more than two sticks at the moment but i only can make them in quantities of four so uh yeah but now that we have the diamond pickaxe and uh I think I just want to organize this a bit better. Uh, okay, so I took a second to organize everything here, and I think it's uh, all nicely laid out. And also, I forgot to mention, I did get an apple, which means we can make a golden apple now, but I don't think I'll need it right now. And I don't really have space on my hotbar for it at the moment, because I do want to keep a water shovel in the picks. So uh, I want to head down here now and mine obsidian so I can make an enchantment table and another portal. Because, uh... There we go. Because I will uh, need that so I can get to the nether. And I, pretty much my plan is I want to get enchantments. I really would like fortune on this pickaxe. But uh, that might not come so easily. And was it this way? Or no, it was the other one. That was the one that turned nothing. And uh, yeah, I actually did branch mining after someone suggested in the last video. And uh, at the very end here, just to show you real quick. Uh, gonna take a second but at the very end uh i found diamonds and then decided to stop here so there's at least three more diamonds i could mine but i want to save them for fortune unless i really need them or i have no luck getting fortune and want to make a diamond sword and just progress but uh yeah and i also still do need to fish the puffer fish but i probably will hold off on that but pretty much oh and i have that to mine too i didn't check all the way down here and i forgot i should also mine redstone although i'm not sure how much experience that gives relative to coal it's either more or less. I think it wasn't that great. But, um, yeah. Anyway, getting a bit off topic. But down here was, uh, this ravine area thingy. Not ravine, more just cave. And, uh, if I turn this to obsidian. And we can even check through here to see if there's, a. Uh... Ooh. I didn't realize that was there. So, uh... Yeah, but we can uh, check these cave areas, and then I'll mine all the obsidian up, or at least enough to make the stuff. And, uh, yeah. Okay, this really doesn't go anywhere, so I'm not too concerned with that, or at least it goes out of diamond territory. And diamonds are the main thing I care about at this point, because uh, we have enough iron. And... Just would be really nice to run to some uh, surface diamonds. Oh, surface gold! And I don't think we're going to find any diamonds down here. Uh, yeah, I can't see any, and I don't really want to dig around near lava, because that usually doesn't help find diamonds. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to uh, just mine this gold. Okay, I know I took a big of a risk, because there could have been lava under the obsidian, and got rid of the gold, or burnt the gold, but uh, there wasn't. There was. I still got the gold. Ha. Huh. So if I do that again. Is there lava under that? Nope. Okay, so I got all that gold. And there is uh, iron here. And I have to go against the current a bit. So, okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to mine some obsidian up here. And, uh, yeah, then I'll resume when I have enough obsidian. And probably just head back to the base so we can craft stuff. Well, I finally finished mining that obsidian, I came back here and sorted away the items, I have the gold smelting in here, and I got all the relevant items out. So, uh, yeah, I need a fair bit of, uh, paper, though. At least I need to do this, uh, seven times, I believe, which still leaves me with enough sugar cane, because I need to make seven books, which will get me, uh, I think I'm messing that up, or, oh, I already had wood, right? Which will get me enough for two bookshelves, and that goes all the leather I had. 
And sorry for the vehicle driving by if you could hear that. Ah, messed that up a bit. Okay, so now with the last book, I can make an enchantment table. Yeah. Oh, and if I crafted that later, I would have got the other achievement. Oh, well. So, um... I don't know. I almost want to put it outside, but I feel like that's dangerous. So, uh... And... Hmm, <laughs> it's just a bit weird. Uh, I know that's how far away they should be, and all oh, right, we need lapis. Good thing we found some of that. I completely forgot we needed lapis. Okay, so I put this in here. Efficiency, 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 and the max level we can do is four. That explains why they're all efficiency. So what about the sword here? Sharpness. Hmm, is or using two of my levels for just sharpness one on iron sword? That does make it better than a diamond sword. But I'm not sure because the decimals also really don't matter much. It only matters on crits, I believe, and not normal hits as much. Or it might add up eventually. Like, anyway, don't want to get into that. But, uh, hmm. For the moment, I think I'm just going to hold off because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, I thought that stayed in there. Yeah, normal Minecraft stuff doesn't do that. In mods, it probably would have stayed in there. But, uh, yeah, so I actually think I'm just going to convert this all. And I need to get out an iron, a gold, a flint, and the apple. So I want to make a gold apple because I'm going to head into the nether now. And, uh, yeah, and I don't really need my water buckets in the nether, I just remembered that. So I'll just uh, throw these back in here and get out the torches. Okay, so I think I should have everything I need to head to the nether. And pretty much my goal is just to scout it out, hopefully find a fortress, or if I do, that would be great. Sorry about that, my uh, throat was starting to bother me a bit there, but yeah, like I was saying, I want to head to the nether and- oh, it's night. <laughs> I want to head to the nether and mainly get quartz so I can get to level 30. And, uh, yeah, that will hopefully be good. And then off camera, I should be able to get the leather, or hope I- oh. Ooh. Okay. Well, the creeper's about where I want to put the portal, but, uh, in addition to mining quartz, I also did want to, uh, see if we could find a fortress, just scout out the area. Okay, so we got that, and a few more experience. So I thought over here would be a good place for the portal, because it's far away, and I didn't really want to make it super out of the way, and why is he teleporting so much? Uh, swap over to the andesite, jump down, take a little damage, build it over, and build it up. Okay, so we have another portal, and it's time to head into the nether and see what awaits. Okay, I'm just spawning into the nether, and, uh... Oh, you have got to be kidding me. This is the best spawn ever. I ran out of the portal because remember in the demo dash when I came here, I immediately ran in and it was just like uh, right in or lava started pouring down. So I wanted to get away, but oh my god, that is the most convenient fortress I have ever seen apart from uh, the first mod adventures. That had a really close by one too, but seriously, this is even better than that. And I already see the blazes and wither skeletons. We really don't need to kill- oh! Speak of the devil. Remember what I said about lava flowing down? That's exactly what I meant. Only before, it came right over the portal and I had to spend, or I died a few times trying to... There we go. That should make it a little less dangerous here. But, uh, yeah. Ha. <sighs> Good thing I'm being careful. I hope. Uh... So, yeah. My goal in there... Oh, the chest! I forgot about those! The chest can have diamonds! Because, uh, yeah, the nether chest were... Actually, haven't they been here since 1.6? I know they just always had horrible loot, though. Oh, God. I didn't think he could reach me. And where'd the other one go? Oh, I don't like this now. But, uh, yeah, I want to build here and uh, highlight the stairs I made. And the way back to the portal, probably. Even though it's close enough by, I probably don't need it. But yeah, I will probably have to go around and mine quartz. I might do that off camera since we found a fortress so easily. But uh, yeah, if I can get into this now and find uh, some... Da -ba -da -da words. Words are failing me. But yeah, I should be able to just mine down here. 
Oops. Actually, I want to add a little uh, bit like that there, and... Okay, so this is my exit. But I have to be careful in here, because I don't have fire... Well, I don't really... I'll collect some soul sand, but uh, I really don't need soul sand, because... Uh, this is hardcore, I don't plan to make that many potions, but, uh, well, might as well. Okay, and I'll grab the other one. Actually, I think I'm gonna wait for that just so it can grow a bit more, and I could get more, but, because that should be plenty for what I need to brew. And I'll keep torches on the right, so I know they'll be on the left on the way out. So yeah, let's explore this. We need to get a couple blaze rods, uh, probably a few. And I'll try and remember that it was here and also light it up so stuff doesn't spawn. Uh, blaze spawners should give us enough blazes that I don't need to worry about them spawning. And like I said, we don't need wither skeletons, so no problem with stopping them from spawning. And uh, yeah, down here is our first chest. Just have to make sure there's nothing waiting around the corner. And gold, iron, and nether wart. And just so I don't have to make more chests... Uh, Actually, let me just swap that so I have some cobble just in case I need it. I'm going to be taking the chest with me as well. And, okay, opening. So, I could grab the torches, but we have enough coal back in the base that I don't think I need to. And just helps cut down on spawns if I do come back in here for any reason. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I came back to the crossroads here, and, uh, there's a blaze. And an op- oh, it's fired. Ah. I didn't think it would see me. Oh, I have a bow. There we go, and I think it dropped a blaze rod, so, uh, woohoo. I feel like I heard a skeleton. Uh, let me just add a skeleton barrier. But, uh, yeah, weather skeletons are tall enough that that will block them, and I'm not sure if that dropped a blaze rod or not. Is that a spawner there? That might be it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, boy. That's a lot of blazes. Uh... Ooh, this is kind of creepy on hardcore, not gonna lie. Uh oh. Oh, I just realized when I started running, um, yeah, I couldn't hide in there like I kind of was hoping. So I just had to kill him, but we got one blaze rod. So we just need one more, and uh, yeah, I think we're done with the fortress, and I just will need levels and the enchantment table, really, and to fish for the puffer fish. So maybe I'll even do that this episode. The recording is running a bit long, or close to, it's about 30 minutes on the recording end right now. But at the same time, I also know I did cut out a lot. Oh. Okay, so uh, iron... And obsidian. None of this is really useful, but I think I do have enough gold now for a second gold apple, at least. And there's this one over here. Gold sword. Also not useful. Oh, boy. Where are these coming from? They could be outside, even. I better check that. Uh-oh. Oh god, that's really bad, actually. Oh god, that's really, really bad. <laughs> um... Well, I'm in trouble. So, I think I should just explore the rest of this the best I can, and then try to leave, because they're already cutting off my exit. <laughs> and why am I even heading this way? There won't be any chests here, and... Well... Guess it doesn't hurt to look. And for a second, I thought that was a wither's sword. And I was like, oh god. So, uh. Or just want to signify that's the way out. That goes up, that goes down, this goes straight. Okay. Saddle. 
also not really useful. Because I don't think I can take a horse down to an underwater temple. Probably not. Come on, diamonds. Well, I did get diamonds, I suppose. Just not the kind I wanted. And by that, I mean horse armor kind. Uh, to be honest, I really don't think I need the extra flint and steel. So I'm going to leave this stuff here. If I really need I could always come back. Same for the gold swords. Because I have a ton of iron. Or at least sufficient iron, I should say. And I won't break this chest as a reminder. And... Yeah, but I don't think I really need any of that stuff, so I think my plan for this episode now is just to loot this place and escape. And I still do need one more blaze rod so I can make strength potions, but I really don't need that, need that. It just would be nice. So, uh, yeah. And hopefully diamonds. <sighs> Never- I'm just gonna leave the other saddle there too. Because the same reason, I don't really need a saddle. I'll take one just because I can, but... Oh. And same as before, don't really need to, so not gonna bother. Okay, so there's a... Oh god! I am in big trouble. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. <sighs> I really screwed up there. I did not see the weather skeleton and then one came out behind me too. Hey, over here. What the? <laughs> okay, I really am being like trapped here now. Okay, so they're coming, I think. Oh, that's where it is. Okay, that's technically outside, and uh... Nope. I thought I might have time to build the barricade so it can't reach me, but it's easier just to kill it. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna leave him and head back to this one and... Okay. And I think this just leads to a dead end. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's just head back before more stuff spawns. And uh, at least I'm getting a fair bit of levels. Blazes are pretty good for experience if I remember right. And oh god! Oh god. Uh. Why can't I get a second blaze rod? I have killed so many blazes now and dealt with so many issues and hmm to be honest I don't need a second blaze rod and I'm concerned about yeah uh, I think I'm just gonna head out because I didn't explore that all I could always head back but there were blazes hiding all around here before and I do not feel good about this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I could mine for experience. Because <sighs> I did see some quartz somewhere around... Oh, God. Now we have a gaster. Oh, great. Oh, God. I was say one of those two when it just kind of fumbled. But there's a gas now. And there isn't any really easy to reach quartz. And I didn't build a shelter around this portal. So, it's vulnerable to ghasts, so I think I'm just gonna head back. And, of course, it's night when I return. Always has to be night. So, uh, yeah, but I do have, uh, the stuff I need to make a brewing stand, at least. And, uh, I can actually start on that. Oh, I don't have sand, but I can always go get some of that, so, uh, not a big deal there. So, uh, yeah, let's just actually make the brewing stand this episode while I'm at it. Ta-da! So we have... Brewing and enchanting, and I have tons of nether wart. So, uh, yeah, I just need to get... Actually, I probably should put a water source in the base. Uh, I forgot all about doing that, so if I just uh, mine out here... There we go. 
So I have a water source now, and uh, yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. I just need to go back and get the second blaze rod so I can make some strength potions, which would be really good, and glowstone dust. I also need glowstone dust to extend the potions. I might save that for next episode, or I might do it off camera. I'm not sure really which I want to do. I also will at least try and uh, get some um, levels and cows off camera, so hopefully I'll be able to do level 30s, but... I don't know, that's going to require a lot of cows, but it's really important to have level 30 enchants, I think. And, uh, can't really throw all this stuff back in here now. Whoops, uh, guess I can merge some of these stacks of lesser used things. Um. There we go. Okay, so, uh, now I'm just kind of sorting some stuff back, so I probably shouldn't be doing this on camera still. But, uh, let me just finish real quick, and, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here just because the video is running long on my end. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be after editing, but it should at least be a lengthy enough episode. And uh, we still have um, the string here to make a fishing rod to get the puffer fish. And I'll need to collect some sand as well so we can start with the potions. But there's a good bit of sand, I think, around. It's enough water anyway, there should be sand. So, um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And, uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye.